I'll call this uh, special meeting to order at five. We started. Hold it. Okay, sorry. Do it. We want to get this recorded right because it's yep. a big vote. All right, now you're recording. I like to call this meeting the special meeting to order for Frontier Regional. On uh, what's today? Today is Tuesday, the twenty third. Um. And we have one thing on the agenda, and I'll just pass it on over to Darius. All right. So, folks, uh, thank you for coming to uh, not a, not a pre-set uh, meeting, but when we we called last week, basically the subcommittee met, reviewed the bids, had a discussion, and voted a bid to move forward. Um, they had me sign off on it. I conferred with the attorney, and even though we gave the subcommittee the ability to go through that. We didn't word it correctly or strong enough. And the fact that we voted as a full committee to hire the track consultant, um, the, the uh, uh, Berkshire design, kind of showed that we still left the power within the school committee, not within that subcommittee to make these bigger decisions. And based on the fact that we're spending $637,000, it probably makes sure that we do this properly. So. Um, Basically, so the, the, the subcommittee went through the, the six bids, um, and uh, Mountain View was the lowest bid. We talked with our um, with Berkshire Design. They kind of they work with this this group quite a few times. They give them um, good reviews. I've also since gone out, um, they they, you know, they have to give us a reference list as part of their bids. Um, randomly called people um, throughout the list. Called five different people. All positive mm -hmm. reviews. That they were good to work with, um, right across the kind of right across the board. So, um, you know, I did kind of the reference checks there. That was one of the things that the subcommittee said they asked me to do before signing off on that. So I did that since then. So, um, I guess if there's, you know, there was a long discussion that night. We talked about it for close to an hour, and that subcommittee did. So we need the kind of the stamp approval from the full committee, but. Um, I guess what kind of questions does this group have? I didn't, you know, kind of have a quick meeting to kind of um, stamp the work of the subcommittee. If there's anybody on the subcommittee um, who wants to speak about the work we did there, um, rather than repeating that meeting, I I, I was on the subcommittee and um, it, it was a good discussion the other night. There was there was somebody that wanted to go off what what was done, the specs, and uh, Darius brought it up to us about somebody that instead of using XYZ as a base, they bring in concrete with special rods and cables, and but it was still, you know, 50, whatever it was, 50 or $60,000 more uh, than, than the lowest bid here. And I'm, I was happy that Berkshire Design is backing up these guys because they've worked with them many times. And we were very happy with, with the... Um, the work that Berkshire Designs going with it, you know, helping us and stuff. So, I mean, I think that's my two cents. If anybody else wants to chime in, Phil or I thought, you know, I, I thought that the real impressive thing was that the bid was, you know, uh, what by over a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred almost two hundred thousand dollars lower than what the most recent estimate was. So, um, so I th we thought that that was a really good thing and definitely worth mm -hmm. noting that it was within the number frame from the original conversations of two years ago. So that was and all, uh, all the things that, that were talked about, like the fence and all that other stuff being a part of the problem, all that is addressed in this and it's all, and it's still 600 and something. Yep. I hate that. 638,750 bucks. That's on your screen there. Yep. So yeah, the positive side of that. So, you know, we as a school committee voted to use, E and D to offset the um, the high side of that. So you know, up to you know two hundred thousand dollars to overstep the high side of that. Um, in basically, because we started off with six hundred and thirty, not including as Shelley will point out very quickly, not including the design um, cost as well. So you're basically around six six seventy ish. You're talking about right, Shelley? You probably get the exact number, um, but around six seventy ish. Um, so you know we start we still are going over the original cost, but nowhere near where we kind of stepped in. We used E and D as to kind of allow us to move the bid forward. We really get bids a lot lower, but you know, Berkshire Design, as they said, we have to be conservative in our numbers when we go out to bid and not shock you with the bid. We rather the bids come in lower, and that was the you know the way we had to handle that. So that's why you're seeing a much lower numbers. 
there were other numbers. Um, the next set of numbers were, I can kind of bring them up to all the bids, um, were a little bit higher, um, but within the range, within, you know, within striking distance, so to speak. And so it wasn't like they were, um, like, how are they going to do it at this price? And I sure. did also say that they followed up by saying, sorry, whoever I was over talking over. Um, they also said that, you know, uh, Mountain View is known to come in with a low bid like this. They get a lot of projects and they move through, and this is well within their scope. Um, and they are a big outfit, even though it does sound like a landscaping company. Um, it's not, they're not um, just running off a few lawnmowers. <clears throat> no offense to the couple of landscaping companies. Okay. Personally. <laughs> This is going to be done during the summer. The window they have is the second week of June to October 1st in order to get it done. And then there's a penalty if they can't get it done in that time frame. Okay. Do they have, is there any access? I should probably be asking Billy Hilder at this, but is there any access from the Pleasant Street side from the Deerfield, old Deerfield Park, rather than coming, dragging all that stuff through, through front, you know, through our parking lots and all the way down the side of the field? We, can they get in there the other way? Yes. Yeah, they put a special road in last year, Bill, for the town hall, the town meeting for Deerfield. It's black. Right, top now. It's black top now. Oh, okay. So they can come from the Pleasant Street side from Deerfield Elementary School. Cool. You can drive yeah. from the tennis tennis courts at Frontier all the way to the parking lot at DES on Black Top now. Yes. So yeah, just to give a reminder of you there, there, Bill, when they uh, they used the town of Deerfield used COVID money because they had to use the they had to move their town meeting to an outdoor site. They actually paved. Um, so thank you to the town of Deerfield. They paid from the tennis courts out to the track and then also from the Deerfield elementary parking lot to the track. So both are now paved entryways so that we can get vehicles down there. Um, yes, more safely. Nice. If, if there's a dirt road, it's unsafe. But and then obviously people um, access availability, availability as well. <clears throat> uh, Olivia's got her hand up, Bob. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah. I just had a quick question and I don't, know if it interferes at all but i know with the weird way that we're doing sports <laughs> um that track is from you know the end of april and they said through july and i know all of that like late june stuff is really just you no know, states and you know regional sorts of things which wouldn't happen at frontier but will this impact us being able to have you know track through june? yeah so so we give them a window and then they're going to tell us when they're going to come inside that window so if you know we get lucky, they're going to say, you know, we're not going to actually start work. We're just, we'll survey, get things in place, but we're not going to actually tear things up and limit your use to it until July. They could say that, or they could say we want to be in on on day one. I think on June 10th, I believe might be the the, the, the day. I forget the exact date in it, um, but we're going to come in on that day. And so you're right. Track is going through June. You know, my you know Bob Smith, we used as a consultant as part of. We brought him in through all our conversation. He was at that meeting, so he he knows what's going on. So. Basically, we will be kicking off the kids off the track for the final three weeks, um, and then we will, you know, be reaching out to possibly DA to see if you know their kids will be gone by then. Maybe we can go over there and yeah. use their track and that kind of stuff. Um, so we are planning on that. And likewise, on the other end for the football and um, you know games underneath the lights, we're going to have to push them if they go late into September. All those games will push to we'll try to push as much of the season we can for those night games. Will have to be in October, so it'll be a colder season. Um, for the fall under the lights. Um, so they'll, they'll move the most of the weight. They're already scheduling the football to have most of their weight games um, to start the season when if possible. And if we have to find an alternative field to play on um, for those games, we'll do that. It all depends on where they're at. Um, Belchertown, I know because I was at their game, um, they were in the middle of redoing their track. Yep. And um, they still had the game in the middle of it. The contract was able to put up fencing and allow them to have one of their games in September there while they finished up the details of like lining and that kind of stuff. So we'll work with them on that. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions? Move to accept the bid of Mountain View Landscaping, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Phil second. Phil second. Yeah. Roll call, Judy. Bob Halla? Yes. Bill Cantor? Yes. Bill Smith? Yes. Judy Pierce? Yes. Mary Raymond? Yes. Uh, Keith McFarland? Yes. Missy? Yes. Olivia? Leon? Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
I know I go back and forth with full names versus not. I don't know what my problem is. Okay. <laughs> Root. All set? Yep. And I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Everybody raise their hand. Bye bye. Good job. See you guys. <laughs>